Hello, it's John, the Vintage Fisherman. Today I've got a Quantum EX501, so it's a left-hand version. Got it in a box of reels. I'm going to do a quick cleanup on this. I don't think I'm going to like take it 100% down. It just needs some cleaning in certain areas. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. Just give it a little love. Back these thumb screws out, and I'm assuming either one end of this reel or the other comes apart. There we go. Spool comes out. And what we're going to do here is, it looks like that stays in there, don't it? Interesting. If there's a bearing over there or what there's a bearing there she's sounding a little rough but yeah this isn't a reel I'm gonna I'm gonna fish with so it's probably going to get sold let me tell you something that thing is just whew. I've never seen magnets look like that before look at that stuff all over those magnets All right, this is great. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll get it though. I'm gonna soak that bearing there pretty good. I'm gonna go blow those magnets off. I'll be right back. Hmm. We're off to a good start on this one. I don't know where all that metal came from on these magnets, but it's no wonder this reel was running rough. Probably a really good reel at this time, maybe not a a hundred dollar. It's still got a lot of metal on those magnets. Oh, that bearing's getting loose now. All right. Could use a new bearing. Those, those uh, magnets got a lot of metal trapped on them. There's not much I can really do with that. I don't know any way to track that metal away from them. out. I don't know what's going to happen to them. Alright, we'll leave that where it's at. We're going to wipe the whole we're going to wipe the whole reel down at some point. Let's take the handle off. This is going to be a real quick cleanup, I hope. I hope. That's probably a 10 millimeter. It's left hand, so you always have to remember it's going to be reverse thread. Let me some left hand reels now. Sorry, just do. I saw this in the auction and it was kind of a bonus to get this in the in the box of reels that I got. All these parts are gonna get sprayed down with WD-40. There is a shim. So it was a shim and then the two cupped washers opposing each other. Okay, there is a bearing in there. There's a cap with a shim and a bearing, so we're at four bearings now. That's pretty interesting and exciting for a cheaper reel. 
what we'll do there is, I'm not really going to take this whole thing apart. We'll, we'll lubricate that bearing and put that cap back on there. We'll lubricate the cap. I have a hard time letting go of left-handed reels because I went through this whole thing where left-handed reels were damn hard to find. I, I grew up in that era where the original bait casters, they wanted you to switch hands. I don't know what in the world the industry had against people who grew up using spinning gear and cast with their right, crank with their left. Then when they came up with modern day bait casters, they wanted you to flip and switch hands all the time. Didn't make any sense to me. All right, we got stuff floating around in here. <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying to get things out. There was a shim on that very bottom post, but I don't see it on the rest of the posts, so. You've got an anti-reverse bearing, a regular bearing, which we'll roll up. And then there's a sleeve in there, which we're gonna pull out. The sleeve went with the oval to the top. Now I can take a Q-tip with some CLP on it and give this thing, this anti-reverse bearing a really good cleaning because it's pretty nasty. And just roll around with it with the direction that the reel would be turning and it will, it will eventually get all the dirt out of those rollers. When you clean one on the bench, you're going to go through a lot of Q-tips, just saying. My ultrasonic does so much of the work that uh, I get spoiled by it. Speaking of ultrasonic washers, you can get that small one from Harbor Freight. That's how I started. And it works very, very well. No problems at all. Bearing, or the drive gear comes off. We got a washer down there. Cog. Don't think there's a bearing under there. That plate can come off and be cleaned. I am going to pull the cross or the uh, level line off, clean that up a little bit. Let's take those springs off. Yeah, I normally don't take one apart like this, but here we go. I like to break them down a little bit further. Try not to lose these little eclips, because if you do, getting one for this reel, probably not gonna be an easy thing. All right, let's take the end cap off of the level line pole there. That's nice, it's a metal cap. I'll give them an A plus on that. I may go ahead and put some of this stuff in the cleaner. It's it's pretty nasty. Gonna have to take something to get a hold of that. There we go. It's got an E-clip on it. Hmm. I 
lose it, John. Don't lose it. Thank goodness it's got enough grease on it. it didn't go flying on me. This little bar has got to come out in here to get the level line all the way off of it. I'm going to put those pieces in in the cleaner because they are pretty grungy. Of this just oil it up this will be out in like five minutes I'll be right back
washer. I don't know if y'all heard that or not. Put some grease in that, or oil in that uh, bearing there. I'm still finding pieces of those magnets over in here. Let's just kind of give it all some slick them. Get everything slicked up. Can't hurt it, right? Better than it was. I don't think there's a bearing down there. I think it's just a bushing, so we'll give it some oil there. I'd like to give it some grease, but I'm not gonna take that apart. All right, let's put it, let's get the parts. And take a look at this. Gotta absolutely love these ultrasonic cleaners. But I was what I was saying is the one at, Har at Harbor Freight for like 60 bucks, the ultrasonic cleaner, it's all you need for fishing reels. Now, I, I went to a bigger cleaner because I'm using it for firearms also. I don't just do, and I only do my firearms. I don't do firearms for the, I'm not an FFL. Somebody else can fool with that. But I do clean my own firearms after I enjoy my firearms at the range. You can see how good it cleans these little parts up. All that gunk comes off of them. Like that little pawl that was just covered and stuff. All right. This was on this side, I believe. No, wrong. This was over here. This is gonna be a real balancing act. Yeah, it's really hard to clean these, um, the line guides, so that's why I like the ultrasonic. It, it takes care of all that for you. And yes, I know I could probably take this reel down a little bit further. Oh, come on. Make it a little bit easier. Yeah, everything's going to fall apart now. Let's, uh, let's hold it right there. 
there. This will come through and go in right here. There. And then we can lock it in place because it's probably going to have to spin. So we got that in place. There was a post that goes in right here and goes through that into there, and that holds the level line level. And there's a little bitty small snap ring goes in there, e clip. Then you've got the worm gear came in from this side, went through Well, that's interesting. Just kind of go back in there. Huh. Something tells me it's not together right yet. Mm -hmm. It's got to turn a certain way. This has got to go in there. She is. Come on, John. <laughs> it's not going in far enough to get the e clip back in it for whatever reason. There it goes. This e clip goes in there. in all right we'll drop the hole down in there and if you put a little pressure on it and spin the gear it will lock down in place and you can put that on there cap And we are ready for oil. Pull all that up good. The slide bar, everywhere is a pivot. And to test that, just do like that. Okay, so I think we're ready to start putting it back together. That went on like that. Then you had the drive gear with the level line went on like that. We'll just put some oil on that drive gear. We don't need to do much more than that with it. I need to clean that just a little bit. Old dried up grease on there. Let's get that off. Now, well, probably before we get too far along there, we need to put this yoke back on there. The yoke's got a little small. 
small plastic. E-clip on there. I'm not sure which which side of this it goes on. We'll just take a chance on it. Because <laughs> I didn't notice when I took it apart. So my guess would be it goes down against the, the widest side of it. And this will go on like this. And the springs went on last. put some grease on the main gear. I'm not gonna grease the pinion because it's just too small. I can't get my I can't get my my brush on it right now. Any grease is better than no grease that it had. Trust me on this. Now we're dealing with a freshwater reel here so I'm not gonna go nuts with the drag on it. Lock that in. There's two pegs that gear locks into. But I guess, I mean, some cows wouldn't hurt it. I just don't want to waste a lot of money on it, you know. We'll put some cows on it, make it, keep it some, keep it pliable, you know, keep it smooth. Put that on there. And then this went on. I want to say I could be totally wrong. I think that went out like that. And this shim, this uh, sleeve here. We'll clean this sleeve up good. The sleeve went with the oval side up. Okay. Yeah, I made a mistake here. Hang on. Get a. That went in there. No, it won't go on there. Yeah. I don't have a schematic on this reel, my bad. I don't think that went there. I don't think it would go there. Yeah. I'm a dummy. I might have to go print one out or go back and look at the film and see how it goes, but let's give it a shot. <laughs> yeah. I think that's right. Let's get the easy stuff out of the way. Oh, Lordy. I want to stop the film and go back and look at this. <laughs> okay, I'm really glad I <laughs> filmed me taking this thing apart. 
Oh lordy. <laughs> so the cog, the cog that trips the spool backing gear goes in. Then the fiber washer. Okay. Then this gear that drives the level line. And then your main gear goes in and locks into those cogs into that into that uh, level line drive drag washer there. oh that's upside down hang on hang on hang on to your horses I see it Leave and the bearing. I want to say all the rest of this was out here on the edge. I just looked at it and can't remember. So we're going to go with it. This little bitty shim was on this post and it's going to try to fall off of there. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of grease on it right there. That'll hold it on there. We're going to try to make it all work here. These springs go on like most bait casters right there. Okay, let's let's give it a whirl. Never mind. Let's don't give it a whirl. That can't go on there yet. Now we can put it together. Well, somehow or another, miraculously, we might have it right. I'll let you know here in just a second. I may have to go back and look at the film again. Tricky little rascal, ain't it? bearing went in small shim against the bearing the concave convex washers opposing each other and it was a shim I believe I got that right then your drag knob I'm going to try to turn on you. I'm going to find out here in a minute if I got all this mess together right. Then it got this little wavy washer. Then the handle. And then the nut, which is reverse thread. I'm going fast because this, this was supposed to have been a quick video. <laughs> and I've had my coffee this morning, so I have no excuses. And that's broke. That might be the end of this reel right there. This piece, I did not see that. It's got a crack. I may be able to fix that. We'll put that on. We'll, we'll deal with that later. This, this reel will work without it. Yes, it's going to be noisy. Okay, that's working. A little bit of grease on the threads here. 
on the motherboard. Alright, get rid of that anyway. Uh, a little oil where that pinion gear slides up and down. Spin the thumb screws down. I might be able to make an Abu Garcia um, that's pretty good flipping the switch yeah it's working it's got a flipping switch on it there it is I mean that was a quick kind of other than I got a little lost on it um, it happens man I, you know, I apologize it's uh these these reels uh they're all a little bit different it's i don't know who makes quantum's bait casters i would guess maybe shimano or somebody like that i had no idea they're all probably made by the same place now but this was an older reel i'll have to fix that keeper or find another one uh, let's just look here and see if a garcia will fit it I mean, if a Garcia will come close, I've probably got some different ones around here somewhere that would go on it. Let's see here. I know I got one in here. That's just for giggles. Let's see if it will kind of. If it does, and I'm, I'm back in business. Nah, yeah, it's a little bit off. You can see. I might have to take one and modify it a little bit. I'll look through my junk pile. But anyway, um, I can make it work. I'll make something work. If I have to elongate the hole on something else or whatever. But thanks for watching. And get a good laugh with me because <laughs> I get challenged on some of these reels. But in the end, I always win out. This is uh, John, the Vintage Fisherman. Please, uh, uh, like my video if you liked it and uh, subscribe to my channel so you can see me fumble around on another reel but finally figure it out because I always do y'all take care thank you for watching and hey, I just wanted to show you I was able to fix the handle on it it's a uh, took a Abu Garcia handle and it matches dang it looks better than it did with the black handle <laughs> Anyway, there it is. It's a pretty decent little reel, and I think I'm going to use it. I can't let go of a left-handed reel. Don't know what it is. Just can't. Let's uh, let's see how well the free spool works on it. Hard to tell without a... It is a mag control reel. Let's put it on zero. Not bad. It's very smooth. Okay. Thanks all. Thank y'all. <laughs> hey, I just wanted to show you. I was able to fix it. I used a Abby Garcia Ambassador handle. Fit perfect. Uh, it's a it's a very smooth reel. Look at that. Five ball bearing reel. It's ugly, but you know what? I think I'm going to keep it and fish with it. I'll mount it on a rod and uh, use it for bass fishing. Um, it's it's relatively smooth. I think it'll cast fine. Put some 12 pound test on it. It is mag control. It's got a flipping switch. I don't do a lot of flipping anymore, but yeah, because I don't have a boat. But uh, anyway, there it is. Thank you all for uh, watching my channel. Please subscribe. Come on back and watch some more. This is John Bench Fisherman. Talk to you later.